course. Hey Star Wars fans, what's going on? Hope you've all had a fantastic week. Mine's just ended on an absolute high because I went and did some toy shopping today. I did a bit of a toy run. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I haven't done a good toy run for a little while. Um, had a little bit extra spending cash this week, so I was really excited to get out and try and find some uh, find some bits and pieces. There's lots of figures that I uh, trying to fill some holes, sort of in between picking up new figures um, as they're released. Got a couple of Black Series just waiting to come in and uh, yeah, the next wave of vintage collection to come out. So great time to go out and fill some holes in the collection. So I hit up a couple of stores. I hit up a store called Toys I Go uh, here in Adelaide. They're about 35 minutes away from me. Um, went there and grabbed, you know, a bunch of figures. And then uh, I went into the city um, and went to Mad Zombie Collectibles. They're in the city uh, in Adelaide, just in Rundle Mall, just off Rundle Mall, technically. And then I uh, checked out a few other stores like Toy World. Uh, there's a Toy World in the Maya Center in Adelaide and Zing Pop Culture. So uh, the only thing I walked out empty handed with was uh, Zing Pop Culture. So we'll take a look at what I got. I've got a couple of bags of toys and I'm, uh, Pretty excited. So we'll start with what I got from uh, Toys I Go. So thanks to the folks there. So you're just trying to fill a few spots in my Power of the Force collection, Power of the Force 2. I grabbed Lobot for a tenner. It's not bad. It's got the little uh, slide there. So I'm pretty excited about Lobot. Some figures on the back. But we'll just sort of set everything up for a group shot afterwards. Uh, Captain Piet. Still need Gamorian Guard, Snow Trooper, and Tarkin from, from that pack. Or from this back of that card. <clears throat> now I've got a hold of some Phantom Menace stuff as well. The Queen Amidala. Some more Comtech for my uh, Comtech bling necklace. <laughs> it's not a bad looking figure at all. It's pretty cool. Next up we have... This one looks a little bit... It's, I think the bubbles, the yellow bubble has just yellowed from sitting in the sun. Hopefully the figure's not too bad. But it's Obi Wan Kenobi with with lightsaber and comlink. So he's got his own little Comtech chip reader. I had this one once upon a time, and he's got a little soft goods at the front there. Um, yeah, it's there's still one more Obi Wan Kenobi I need to get from the Phantom Menace. I think. I think. Now, last card of figure I got from Toys I Go is the Naboo Royal Security Guard. Or just Naboo Royal Security. So just another one I uh, have missed over the years. And I don't think I paid the $12 for him. I think he gave it to me for 10 as well. But uh, I could win the ultimate party. I had the ultimate Star Wars Phantom Menace party here just a couple of weeks ago. I dropped back in the video and uh, on the channel and uh, come and join my Star Wars Phantom Menace party I had. Uh, grabbed a couple of loose figures as well. Uh, so I grabbed the cloaked Darth Maul. I didn't have the lightsaber, but I've got a spare, so that's cool. That works out well. Uh, yeah, I like the robe on this one. I don't know how much it varies from the uh, other one but um yeah, he's a little bit dusty needs a bit of a wash so I'll I'll chuck these 
in the uh, in a hot sink. Give them a bit of hot soap, hot soapy water. Clean them up. Get them looking nice and new. And then uh, my Spirit Droid R5 D4. It's an interesting one. I uh, I've never had this figure before ever. The power of the Force. But I'm uh, glad to have him now. So then, like I said, I went over to Manzobi in the city after picking up my wife. We went and had dinner. Um, great night out. I uh, picked up some more figures. I got uh, another episode one. I got Rick Oli. Remember when he was once touted as the next Han Solo. <laughs> and basically, he just tells us what's happening in the movie. Next time you watch it, next time you watch Phantom Menace, he basically just tells you exactly what is happening. Uh, picked up this one, Ayla Secura from Attack of the Clones. The card was pretty banged up and crunched up. I don't think I paid 15 for that either. But um, yeah, trying to track down some of the other sort of pre-posed Jedi from Attack of the Clones. Um, so that one looks alright. Then I picked up Loose. I got Chancellor Valorum. Finally got him. He didn't have the staff, but they did have a um, box of weapons and stuff I need to go through next time I go back. Um, it was just in a really bad spot. And uh, yeah, she just said next time I'm in, just to let her know and she'll let me rummage through the accessories bin because she just hadn't had a chance to sort of match them up with some of the Loose figures on display. Um, and then I also picked up Prince Shizor from Shadows of the Empire. This is the single carded version because he has this weird, weird fan things. I don't know what they are, but <laughs> it exists. And yeah, I've, I've sort of been on the hunt for Shizor. Uh, I think there's only one more um, Shadows of the Empire figure I need. I think that's uh, Slave Leia. No, it's Leia Bush, sorry. That's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, glad to have Prince Shizor for my Power of the Force collection. And then walking into Toy World in the city, um, came across a couple of figures from the new wave. Um, already got one of these on order. Unfortunately, they didn't have crosshair, which is the one I still need to order. Um, but hopefully I can hunt that one down tomorrow. Um, but they did have a Hunter. I have Hunter and this one coming already um, that should be here next week so I thought get a get a second clone um, clone elite squad trooper yeah apparently these guys aren't clones so uh yeah just glad to have a couple of that one um, so yeah that's my whole guys I had a ripper of a day absolutely fantastic stuff I'm really really excited to have some more toys to open and fill some gaps in the collection that I've really been trying to get to Okay, so I forgot a couple of things while I was recording. I put them down to the side, but uh, I picked up, finally picked up Darth Plagueis. Uh, I read this book years ago. I've got a digital copy of it. Um, it was my first and last digital book I ever bought. <laughs> um, something satisfying about having hard copy, but uh, yeah, finally found this one yesterday. Um, so yeah, really excited to add that to the library. And back when I was at uh, Toys A Go, I also picked up this... Uh, Return of the Jedi Collections brochure, so I just thought I'd give this a quick flick through because uh, it's pretty amazing. Would have loved this as a kid. I can only imagine being a child of the 80s. You know, having one of these catalogues to flick through and just, you know, I was absolutely gaga over some of the Power of the Force stuff, but just. Having this as a little uh, historical document is really nice, so pick that up for a few bucks. So uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Um, I might try and drop a little bit of footage in as well um, if I haven't already put it in the video earlier. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the uh, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.